CNM does automated quantities including station and offset for Civil 3D. I'm going to start a new drawing and save it so that it can be used with CNM. I'll add an alignment and some polylines in the model space. Okay, and I've added a viewport on a layout. And I'll insert a bubble node into paper space. It's a new folder for CNM, so CNM's going to get all the pro get the default settings and I'll put a note at the center of this fire hydrant or whatever that is. Yeah, call it note two. And I'll say I'll do a station and offset. It takes me to model space, wants me to pick an alignment. I hope that's an alignment. Now line two, hit enter and say red. Okay, now we can do the same thing for a quantity. Uh, I'll pick a different shape. I'll say we're going to do this sidewalk note one and I want to do square feet. Pick an object to link dynamically and I won't put anything on line two, and it gives me 2,000 square feet. So that's how it basically works. If I want to edit one of them, I can add more things on, well, let's say I'll, I'm going to, for some reason, add a station on line two, so I go station, well, let's add northing and easting, just for fun. Northing on line two, and easting on line three. Okay. And of course, I can type in whatever nonsense I want below or edit any line. Now, I would like to talk about the options. I was asked to add an integral if we're doing a area quantity so I can go to options bubble node options and say I want to change to integral arrowhead when I add area quantities I can also choose which lines I want to be prompted the old default of two lines one and two or none or or all of them um, then I can choose whether it skips the uh, old text entry prompt and goes immediately to automatic text. I'm going to remove that so you can see the difference. And then I can edit all my prefixes and precisions for the different quantities here. So what I've done is I've told it to add an integral arrowhead when I do area quantities and not to skip directly to automatic text. So let's see what happens. First of all, I will edit this one and I'll go to line one and do the area quantity again, square feet, pick the sidewalk and say, okay, it should flip it to an integral. Then if I put in another bubble note, let's say, the center of this manhole. Uh, I'll just again do note two and now it's not going immediately to automatic text so I have to hit dot for automatic text. I want to do northing and then line two dot for automatic text and easting and I get my northing and easting. Of course I can also put my bubble notes in model space, which is probably better. And, uh, of course, it remembers the alignment I used before, so if I want to add an alignment, station, and offset, it remembers that I used Oak Street last time, and I can just hit return, and that gets added.